Welcome to version of Let's Play Farming Simulator 2013 on the Glen Malur Farm. Alright, we got a couple things going on today. First of all, sugar beets, they're ready to be harvested. Uh, however, they need to be topped first, which leads us to our topper that we haven't used, but we've had for the longest time now. So, uh, let's go ahead and grab our farm all here. Let's fire this guy up here. There we go. And I'm going to go get this. Uh, I don't know if auto tractor will work for topping, but we're going to find out real quick. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get the topper that is left, that has been left in our uh, cow field. There we go. Wow. That was a big delay. In our cow field back here. So we're going to use that finally, uh, which is the reason why we have it, right? All right. I think oh, I need to check the horsepower requirements. I haven't checked that in a long time. I think it can. I don't think you need a 150 plus. I'm pretty sure it says somewhere here. No, of course it doesn't. Nope, never mind. It's just a mower. This should be powerful enough. But you never know, I suppose. All right, well, it makes sense because this is a red tractor and that's a red mower, so. Works for me. I don't think you need to touch the PTO. No. All right, let's raise this up. There we go. Uh, you can move it back and forth like so, so I'm just gonna position it in the middle there. There we go. Now this should top our it should be able to top our, um, oh, there it goes, it does work, excellent. Now, let's just do a little test here and see if this will work with it. Looks like it will. I don't know why it's going that way, but. Oh, I know why. Well, it works, That's that is a good positive thing. There we go. That takes forever to pick up. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it up on the other side of the field, on the far side. He should be able to do this. Not sure. Um, but we're going to find out in a second here. He set up so he goes up and down the field, so we'll see how it works out. Now, he should have enough space to do it this way, but maybe we'll set it so it goes in circles first. Um, and then maybe... I don't know why it's being weird. I guess we have to line it up nicely here. I can't find the outside of the field probably is what it boils down to. Alright, so that should be good. No. Well, let's just see what happens here. Oh, now you found the end, haven't you? Jeez. <laughs> you think it'd be fine, but apparently not. The right side's the active side, so I don't know. It seems to think it's not going the right direction. Maybe it's just the implement doesn't work, I don't know. But that's why Auto Tractor is not always uh, my favorite mod. Not if I compare that to, let's say, Course Play, so just saying. All right, is it gonna do a circle again? Yes, it's gonna do a circle again. Hmm. Maybe because it's I don't know where it's trying to go. Maybe it's the uh, wrong side? I don't know. Hmm. Active side left. All right, let's just try that and see what happens. Maybe it'll work better, who knows. Yes, apparently that's what it was. Oh well, whatever. Let him go up and down the field. There we go. Anyway, so that is the flail mower that we have been holding on to ever since we started this series, basically. Um, and basically that thing will top your sugar beets for you. Um, the cool thing is actually, I didn't really need to fertilize the field now that I think about it, uh, because with this particular mod, it'll actually fertilize when you, cult it, when you uh, do the topping as well. 
So that's one of the cool things about this particular uh, mod. It does do that as well. So pretty cool little nifty little mod. It's actually really cheap. Uh, this topper is super cheap in comparison to the in-game topper, which is like 30, 40 grand or something. Whoa, what's it doing? Hmm. Interesting. I wonder why it decided to do that. That's backing up a little bit too much there. Don't know why he decided to do that. I suppose this really would just be cheap faster if I did it myself. Based on how it's working out at least. <laughs> Alright, well. Yeah, we're just going to do it ourselves apparently. Because this thing is not going to work the way I want it to at this particular time. Maybe if I, uh, I don't know. The joys of messing around with Because this, this thing isn't exactly a, uh, it's not exactly a, uh, I don't know, a usual implement. It's pretty odd, I guess, in the greater scheme of things. Like, if you look at this implement in comparison to other implements, it's kind of strange, so. Oh, maybe that'll work now. I don't know why it switched sides. Oh, I know why. It's because it's going up and down the field. Is it? Okay, that's the reason why. Uh, because it, it switches sides when it goes up and down the field as opposed to in circles. So right now it's going in circles, so then it will just uh, keep the same side. So it, that's what was screwing it up. It was just because I kept switching sides. Anyhow. Let's see if he gets around this corner without mucking him, messing it up. Apparently not. Alright, <clears throat> so that's going to be a problem, so let's just... Let's lower this down. And let's see if we can get as much as we can out of this corner, because this seems to be the problem corner all the time. Now the funny thing is, I don't know if it's going to detect, if it's going to keep thinking that it's not done anything to this right here because it's just topping it, it's not actually doing anything else to it, and it might be the reason why. I don't know. It might, it may or may not work. Who knows? We're going to find out. It may, is it going to do it? No, it seems to be realizing that, okay, that's kind of cool, I guess. Now the question is, is it going to go to the edge of the this or the next part? Yeah, I think, uh, I don't know. I am kind of curious about this. Anyways, while that's trying to figure out what it's supposed to be doing, let's grab our Ursus, which is over here, with our Harvester that we need to use here. Actually, now that I think about it, there's something else we need to do while we're over here. So, uh, we have $28,000, which means we can actually buy this field at 21. So that leaves us with seven thousand dollars left so now we have this field and this is all withered i believe yes so we can't actually do anything with it um, we could just flail it like we're doing the other field and what is my information show tractor information is this no oh that's a tight turn there we go so as you can see, I put some silage in there. I did, did part of the field over on the other side there. Um, I did part of the field on the other side there, so that will be a good start for us. And also we have 160 pigs again. So you see why I didn't care if we... I actually sold all of the pigs, uh, but it took a lot longer than I wanted it to. And I'm seriously considering getting a bigger trailer just because uh, 16 pigs at a, a crack is not enough. <laughs> Let's just say that. Uh, especially when you get like 160 pigs every single time you um, every single time you get to the point where um, you fast four times to the crops mature basically. Uh, so it's a little bit cumbersome to do only 16 pigs at a time but we don't have a whole we don't have many options unfortunately so that's kind of the uh, 
kind of the problem that we run into. Because there is the other, the other um, no, I want the other side. Uh, there is a problem, or there's the other trailer, but that one's $15,000 and it only holds 25 pigs. Uh, and then there is the, and then there is the other one, which holds a bit more than that, but I don't know. We're going to have to find out. All right. I forget what the information button is here. Is he actually going around the field or is he stuck? He is stuck. I wondered. All right. Yep, looks like this is something we have to do ourselves. Oh well, not a big problem. I'm pretty sure I can go pretty fast with this, so... Yeah. Can I go faster than this? Up to 20 kilometers an hour, maybe? Okay, I can go even faster than that. That's crazy. So this is pretty fast, actually. Yeah, I think the problem is because it detects that there's a crop still there, and this technically... Um, it won't work in this. What happens is it's just trying to detect the crop to cultivate it, but it can't because so it'll just it'll only stick around the outside. I think is what will happen, um, as opposed to other things. Can I ah, can I go full speed of this? That seems a bit ridiculous. No, <laughs> I'll just do 20 kilometers, which is still kind of ridiculous when you think about it. But considering how delicate I think the leaves of uh, sugar beets are on the top, I'm not sure actually. I've never seen a sugar beet. Uh, grown, or what it looks like in a field, so I can only guess that as, like, in comparison to p potatoes, I guess, is what I could compare it to, but it's not quite the same thing, so. But I live with a potato, it's like a, it's like a almost, I don't, know, I don't want to say a bush, it's not really a bush, it's like a, I don't know, because with potatoes, you have to plant them in a mound, basically, and in the mound, you, um, in the mound you can uh, have like the plant coming out of it and it kind of looks like a I don't know usually the stalk usually the actual plant itself is about half inch round maybe and then it goes up and the, obviously the potatoes are in the ground so I've actually dug potatoes by hand a few times more than once actually um, dug potatoes for dinner even which was actually a lot of fun uh, because then you get to have super fresh potatoes so if you get new potatoes you're really lucky because they taste fantastic and they're super, super sweet when they're still, like, little small potatoes. Um, so the bigger potato, I don't know, tastes a bit different, but if you, get, um, if you get potatoes that are little small ones, new potatoes, I call them at least, uh, then you can get some pretty ones. Can I, how far can I move this over? Mm, not much. Not as much as I thought I could, actually. But it does allow me to kind of, like, get a bit more, a bit easier to adjust, I suppose, just because I'm a terrible driver, I guess, I don't know. Alright, let's go deal with that Zilk, it's gonna sit there. This is the one disadvantage. The OGF Bayer and Farm, I can just let it do its thing. Like, if that were the case, that would be fantastic. But here, of course, I kinda have to, uh, babysit it a little bit. And he's gonna run to that fence post. But we do have 144 pigs, so they just re reproduce like there's no tomorrow. So I'm seriously considering getting a bigger trailer. Um, I'm reluctant to get the normal livestock trailer I get because it is huge. Um, but I think the course play course should be okay with that trailer. I'm not sure though. And there actually probably is a great demand coming up for pigs soon too in one day so next harvest I guess so that's a possibility now th the funny thing is I could actually use this trailer or this truck with the other trailer but in real life I don't think that this truck could handle that other livestock trailer just because the size of it alone uh, is like quadruple the size of the truck and I don't think the truck has enough horsepower so that's my thoughts on that Alright, so we need to finish topping this. And I wonder... No, we don't... Actually, none of our vehicles have... So no, we can't do what I was going to think. Uh, I guess the only vehicle that actually has... Three point on the front would be our... Uh, would be the Unimog. And I don't think a Unimog would be something you would... 
you would use as a harvester as well. Uh, some people disagree, but it just seems odd for me, so I'm not going to. Let's say that. Anyhow. Some good feedback on the website. I've been, uh, that I have not yet released. Well, actually, probably at this, at the time of recording this, I haven't released it yet. By the time this actually gets released, I probably will be out. Um, so. Anyways, I've got some feedback from people saying that they like the idea of of the website. Some people are should include all your mods. Uh, all of my mods are included on the website. Um, and it's through a Google spreadsheet, I guess, is wrote down to. So it's relatively easy to get access to. Um, so they are there. They're not. They're not a hundred percent. I guess they are hundred percent free. Yes. Um, but I've asked you to sign up with your email address only because, you know, I put a lot of work into making that list because there's a lot, there's a lot of mods there. So, um, you know, it also lets me to, lets, gives me a way to stay, stay in contact with you. So if you don't want to sign up, don't, you don't get the mod list. That's how it works. <laughs> Cause I'm sure you can find all the mods for yourself. So I'm not, not doing it to be mean or anything. I'm just saying, hey, commit, I guess is what it's down to. But it does, like I said, it does allow me to stay in contact with you for, so for example, I can just email email you uh, via the email list, I guess is what it boils down to, to say, hey, doing a live stream, or I might do some one-off email, say, hey, I'm about doing this in the farm, what do you think? Uh, no, not everybody checks, well, not everybody uses Twitter, not everybody uses Facebook, but everybody uses email, so email is usually the best way of getting a hold of people, so that's my feeling about that. And like I said, if you really don't feel comfortable giving, you, giving the email, don't. <laughs> it's fine by me doesn't hurt my feelings at all so anyways that's my little side rant there I don't know I have another website for marketing so I'm just trying some of those techniques with this to website see how it works out you know maybe it'll work maybe it won't um, it's uh, it's possible it could go either way you got some of you guys might feel that uh, that's kind of not cheaty but just a, I don't know I don't know what to call it just not a, not a good thing to do and if you feel that way well I'm sorry it's uh, I don't know it's one of my other things I do, so I'm just trying it out. Is what it all's down to. So, and I'm, and if you ask me for a specific mod, most likely I'll still give it to you. I don't want to completely shut out of mods that I have. Most of the mods I get from Mod Hoster or FSA UK or LS 2013 basis. So if you could go there, you basically find any mod I have. <laughs> just a question to find the right mod, I suppose. Thanks. I don't know. I'm uh, I'm excited about say being released and the response I get. Yeah, uh, should be good. I uh, I took a sneak peek to a couple people to see what their thoughts were, um, what the feedback they had, and there was overall the feedback was pretty positive. So I'm happy about that. It's not necessarily the most the fanciest site in the world, but it will it gets the job done. So it's the type of guy I am, I just get the job done. I suppose is how you would describe me. I suppose I don't know. Anyhow, almost finished this. This actually is quick because because I can drive at kilometers an hour. This is very quick, so it's really nice to be able to do it this way. Um, and this is way cheaper than what we'd be able to do if we were if we actually had to buy the uh, the game one. Uh, we would have been spending money out of the yin yang basically. But this this was only like a couple thousand, so makes it pretty nice. I don't know if you're sure in real life. You might be able to use bush hog in real life, maybe, to do this kind of a thing, but I am not sure. I don't know enough about sugar beets to make that kind of judgment call, so let's just get that little bit there. All right, almost done. Let's go take care of that zill again. So this, at least this just keeps running, basically. Um, so all you need to do is fill it up, and filling up is not so bad, but it does take a little bit of time. Especially when it, actually, I've had a couple times where I filled up the trail, the truck, and then basically what's happened is the truck's like flown across the screen or something because of this little ledge right here. I don't know. It's a bit strange. What if I can send it to the first course? I don't think I can send it to the first point just because where it is, but let's just see. Will it actually? I think what happens is it hits this right here. It still does. Oh, maybe not. Okay, that's not so bad. I'll have to keep that in mind, actually, then. Because that saves me a lot of trouble, actually. Because every time I have to drive it out to here. Okay, well, 
maybe I'll just leave it to do that then. Anyways, back to flailing. Almost done here, and then we can do a little bit of harvesting. I don't know how much we're actually going to get from... We probably will get a quite a bit. Because this is not necessarily a small field, but it's, uh... I don't know. It's not small, it's not... Somewhere in the middle. A medium-sized field, I guess. So, somewhere in the middle. And this is... I don't know if you can see the... F no, you can't. I thought you could see them. You probably can, but that's not from this angle, so... It's kind of cool, because if you get to an angle, you can see the flails inside, which is cool. Get that little bit there. Sweet. Excellent. Alright. So, unfortunately, I can't do two things at once. Uh, not on this particular field, or else I would probably... Could I do course plays? Hmm, you could actually. Maybe I could have done that. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe I might have been able to. But, I don't, I don't, I don't think so, just because the sh... Like I've said numerous times now. Especially these fields are just, uh, they're killing me. Well, in terms of course play, at least they are. I wonder if this on the front of your actor. That would be interesting. You should be able to, and then you could harvest the time so you don't have to do it twice. I wonder. Now, that, that brings up an interesting question. If you can... You know what, let's just try... I'm just going to try to do it in the backwards, because this, this is the way you'd pull it. And if you can put it on the front of a tractor, this doesn't look like a model you could theoretically. Well, hmm, I don't know. Maybe. That's just works backwards too. I don't see why it wouldn't, but yeah. So you could put it on the tractor if you wanted to. Okay, let's go. So if I do get a new tractor, I could get one with a three point on the front as well, which might be a way of uh, killing two birds with one stone, to speak. Are we going to get it all in one? No, I don't think so. Uh, just about. Uh, a couple of little spots there. Let's get those little two little ones right here. Because we're already in this area. It's not so bad. Earth. Nice. Alright, let's put that over here. For the time being. Keep the flail out of the way. And then we can hop in the Ursus. And we can start harvesting. So the Zill is already there. Jeez. That is crazy. Alright, so let's put it right in the back here. Uh, turn that off. Let's go back to here. So, I have a feeling I can sell pigs every single episode. That's what it boils down to. Just because there's so many pigs. Which is why I was considering getting a bigger uh, trailer. Just so it's like once or twice and that's it. Because this is going to be... If I have to do this every single episode, <laughs> it's going to be like... All right, that's the third load, that's the fourth load, that's the fifth load, because 16 pigs is not very much. Um, I could, what other option do I have? This truck would be not optimal for, hmm. What other options do I have available? Do I have, I could use, that might be too big still. I don't think I have anything that's like a smaller vehicle. The only one that really comes to mind is really expensive, uh, which is, I don't think it's even in this list. I think it's in miscellaneous. Maybe that one, actually. It's a smaller truck. Mm. Where is it? Oops. I think, I'm thinking of the Scania, but I believe the Scania is really expensive, and I may have just taken it out anyways. Do I still have it in here? No. Okay, well, the Scania was a possibility, but it is really expensive. It's like $300,000, and it's not really worth doing that. I might be able to use the Bullnose, Bullnose Kenworth, but in that case, I probably will have to, um, whoops, I probably will have to, uh, use something else, I think. Um, I don't know. We'll see. There we go. Perfect. So he should go and continue on his way. Let's hop into the Ursus and let's fire this guy up. This guy does have a field mode, I believe. Yes. Unfold Harvester. Alright. That's unfolded, apparently. 
<clears throat> Does it have a... Oh, that was the unfolded mode. Oh, okay. Never, I don't think I've used this, actually. Alright, so turning it on. Do I have to lower it as well? I'm sure I have to hold lower it. Oh, no, that's actually working. Oh, that's easier than I thought it was going to be. That's not too bad at all, actually. But now I need to figure out... Well, it's kind of like... It's not too bad, actually. So the nice thing about this one is um, you can actually turn a little with it. Like with the potato harvester, you really can't turn with it at all. Um, because you run into major problems. Uh, pipe out. That should be... Yeah, that's going to be high enough. Because we are going to have to unload this more than once, I have a feeling. I wonder if this will actually work. It says auto tractor. Probably not. I don't know what I was trying to do there. <laughs> well, it was just a thought. <laughs> Apparently not, though. That's fine. Didn't like that too much. I was like, okay, that's not going to work out, so. Not a problem. We are at 50% though, which means we are going to have to uh, bring that, uh, bring the other harp, not the harvester. Going to have to bring over the Unimog. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Apparently we can put halogens on. I don't know why you would make your halogen lights the same button as increase, decrease speed of time, but they did. Alright, 73%. That's one pass all around the outside. That's one pass. Yikes. Active side. Active side. Oh, that's weird. Okay. Apparently I can't change the active side, so it's key six. Okay, well. Hmm. Shouldn't be paying attention to that. Should be actually harvesting. Oh, and we're full. And we need the Unimog now. Where is the Unimog? Here we are. Perfect. So he's not too far away. Good. So let's go ahead and... Unload that. It's only seven o'clock in the morning. We're already harvesting sugar beets. Jeez. Appar apparently, I, um, I was talking to somebody the other day, and they were saying usually it took it used to take all day to unload sugar beets, but nowadays it takes like no time at all. Why is it rocking back and forth? That's so strange. Uh, nowadays it takes like no time at all to harvest sugar beets, just because um, the equipment's so much more efficient, right? So. Excellent. So let's just leave this guy over to the side because we're definitely going to need him again. Uh, as long as I don't run into any fences. Jeez. And the Zill's probably just chilling out somewhere. Saying he needs fuel. Uh, this... Sh Oops. That should be fine. Let's go get the Zill. And let's go fill him up because he's going to need some fuel. Uh, let's leave the trailer here, actually. That'll make our lives a lot easier. Uh, because maneuvering with the trailer, trying to get fueled up at the same time without running into anything else, might be slightly difficult. So We got a fuel tanker over here, so it's not so bad. Excellent. There we go. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, instead of going... The direction I was going in, I'm gonna change directions. And the reason being is because then I can have the pipe on the outside, basically. Is that gonna be a good enough turn? Yes, it is good. Excellent. So then we can have the pipe on the outside, and then when we bring the Unimog around, it's not gonna be too much of a hassle. Excellent. Good. 
Let's just unload him there. Might as well. And the zil should be full. Excellent, it is. Perfect. Alright, things are progressing nicely. This is good. Oh, that tractor's loud. So we do have a ton of pigs still. So many loads of pigs have to be sold. But it's good to know that um, the money you get from pigs isn't bad. It's $100 a pig. Has it gone down significantly? I haven't even checked in a while. Probably has. Yes. Not worth selling pigs anymore, Ian. Don't sell pigs. Note to self. Um, so yeah, it's not worth selling pigs. I should pay attention to that because the price does decrease. On some maps, actually, it doesn't decrease at all. Uh, I don't know why. Um, but on this map, it does. And there's the milk truck, apparently, for the milk that we don't have. And it's just chilling out right there. It does a little bit of a UE, I guess, and then uh, drives away. Uh, for now, I'm just going to leave this guy in the bunker so he's out of the way. Let's hop back in the Ursus. There we go. Excellent. So now we need to... I guess the funny thing about this is can't... There's no way not to drive on the crop in this scenario. Not the, not no, no way I can see, at least. Because this is, this is work mode already. You basically have to drive on the crop. It seems like. Can I go any faster? Probably not. I'm not even going to try. But yeah, it seems like you, you have to drop, drive on the crop here. And that seems a bit strange. I guess in real life you probably would drive in between the rows. That's what my guess would be. Or you'd have a harvester that's not a pull behind harvester. Like, I know with a potato harvester, if it's like a single row potato harvester, you would um, drive in between the rows. But in this scenario, I don't know what would be the situation. I'm assuming you would try to drive between the rows here as well. But not always possible, I suppose, right? And I'm just trying to keep the one tire on here. Um... Just because that's the only thing kind of... I guess we're... I'm just trying to make sure I miss any is what it boils down to. I probably could be a little bit further over. But, yeah, because we're getting like two rows at a time. So I probably could be a little bit further. But now it's a question of, can I do it this way? No. Not from this view. Like, I guess in real life, I'd probably be able to lean out a little bit. In the, out of the back of the track. So then I could see where I was going to. Or see where the edge was. By situation, I really can't see where the edge is at all. So it does make it a little difficult to try and judge where the edge of the um, harvest. There we go. Let's just unload this little bit here. Perfect. All right. No, it's, I don't lower the harvest. Can you fold? No, you can't. Okay, I didn't think so. But sometimes you can actually make it so you... Uh, you can make it so you can keep it folded. It falls right behind you. And you can run, but not every vehicle's done. It's kind of... A, I wouldn't call it best way of doing it, but it's definitely a way of doing it. So I guess this is probably the best way to do it, but... In real life, you wouldn't have this possibility to see that, what I'm just seeing right now, just the edge of it, but I don't know. It's probably the most efficient way of doing sugar beets, but I don't know. I guess, uh, I guess I'm done from the uh, bird eye view as well. Not my work pose, but it does me a bit interesting. Yes, it does. Hmm. See, I think the funny thing is Auto Combine might do this. Maybe. I don't know, I've never used Auto Combine. But I'm used the same as Auto Tractors with a Combine, basically. But, I don't know. I use Auto... I use Course Play LS, so it's kind of interesting to try and do some of these things manual at times. Um, whether that's or bad, I don't know. But it does allow me to do it like this pose. Different sort of boils down to. So, not your style. If you'd rather me do course play everything, well, I guess what I'm gonna say is watch the other series. 
because the other series is more around that, and this is more, uh, this is more, I guess, manual type stuff. That's what it boils down to. All right, let's just drive up over here, unload again. Doesn't hold that much. It only holds 5,000 liters, but uh, that's enough. I think the Grimmy Maxtrons hold, uh, or Tektrons hold, I think, 10, 12,000, I think, somewhere in that area. But like I said, getting something like that would just be ridiculous on the, this size of farm. But I'm sure people have done it. I guess maybe not in this field. It wouldn't be too bad, but I'll have the money to buy something like that. But we're not going to do repeats on this field all the time. We'll be on other fields like next time. So like, now that we have field which we need to take care of as well, we could definitely get on that. And then in that it won't nearly be as bad as what... Uh, or nearly as many shoots as what we're gonna get out of this field. So. Well, I could change something there, change lights, but apparently it's gonna light up the back anyways. Nope, nope. Nope. Thought I could change in the back. Apparently not. Oh well. So this is Sugar Beet Harvest, and this is one of the reasons why I don't do it. I am I was excited, and now I'm, I realize why I don't do it very often, because the progress is much slower than everything else. It doesn't help that uh, I don't do a job of staying uh, on the edge of where I'm supposed to be. And what I mean is basically, I could be harvesting more at once, but it's difficult to wear that extra little bit. It's like, I can't see the edge there very well, so it makes it difficult to decide where it is. Well, from in cab or... There's no way to do it, it's what it boils down to. No easy way to do it for sure. But you are getting about 5,000 liters of crack here, that's not so bad. Alright. That's probably gonna fill that trailer up, I imagine. Yep. Alright, let's turn that guy off. And. Let's start the engine here. So we have 19,000 liters. That's not even half the field. Sheesh. That's a crazy amount. Now what we are going to do is we're going to give some of these to our pigs. Because pigs accept sugar beets. And the cool thing actually with sugar beets is you can actually uh, make um, total mixed rations or mixed rations with sugar beets as well using, um, what is it called? I don't know, one of the mods I have. <laughs> uh, this thing right here, uh, no, this thing. The Tanko clean -a feed So basically you put 14,000 liters of sugar beets and it makes it into mixed feed and you just spit, spit it out. So it's pretty cool. So let's go give our pigs sugar beets first. And I believe it's just over here. And I don't know if they'll, I don't know if they'll need all these, but we'll find out. It probably will, because it's 120 pigs, but... Oh, maybe not, actually. We're at two days already. Jeez. I have a feeling we're going to end up with lots of pigs. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that's the other advantage of selling the pigs all at once, I suppose. Uh, so the situation we're running into right now is that we can only sell X number of pigs at once, so 60 in this situation. So because we don't sell them all at once, the price decreases as time progresses, so it makes it... Uh, not advantageous to sell them, but they still accumulate and I can't store them anywhere anywhere, so um, So that is a bit of a problem. So I think what we're gonna have to do is look into pick, uh, increasing the size of whoops Wasn't paying attention there increasing the size of a trailer because the trailer we have right now is just not going to work out for very long especially once once we get these sugar beets rolling and our animals are, you know, producing a crazy amount, so. All right, so I think I'm gonna stop the episode there for no, for now. I'm not sure how long it's been. So we got the sugar beets started, and we got another field, and we still have $10,000. So we're well on our way to uh, making our farm a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna stop it there. My name's Ian Robson. This is Farming Simulator 2013 on the Glenmalure Farm. I'll catch you guys later.